Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 coming back at you again. And uh, it's been a crazy day, y'all. I mean, with this whole <laughs> Mark getting banned situation and, and just in general, like, especially for me, I'm glad I'm off of work now. It's been a crazy day. Um, if you guys see my earlier video, I was at um, this brand new Amazon distribution center that's opening up in Baltimore. And uh, we had to literally <clears throat> install 91 water coolers. And obviously we're not done because it takes a couple of days to do that. Um, I will be back up there tomorrow. I'll be doing more videos tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going to come prepared. I'm going to have my Cowboys hard hat on tomorrow. Um, which I had when I used to work at the Nestle plant. Um, I used to work in like a real cold freezer or whatever. That that was the best worst job ever because you can eat all the ice cream. But <laughs> working in a cold zero degree freezer with freezer suits on. Like it messes up your core body temperatures. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I've been inhaling all these this this dust and fumes and stuff all day because the uh, the Amazon place is not finished yet so they're literally they they had like hundreds of like um construction people in there working so that's why we had to have our hard hats and stuff on because they were you know building stuff so <clears throat> I'll be back there tomorrow I'll be reporting live again uh well recording uh, while I'm there um those of you that um are sad that Mark doesn't have his channel Let's just hope that um, YouTube allows him to bring his channel back because we all know that uh, uh, those of you that are strong subscribers to Mark and love Mark's content, um, live, eat, and sleep, sleep and breathe, and wait for his videos. Um, you got you guys there are the appreciated ones, uh, definitely by him. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate you too, the ones that follow me as well. Um, I do, I definitely do appreciate the support, even though. I don't pump out as many videos as Mark does because I'm not as free as Mark is. I don't have the the luxury of um, the time that he has right now, but um, I do it when I can, and I make sure that I catch 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 you guys up on on my thoughts and just to give you my little flavor. You know what I mean? So um, if you want to contact Mark, there's always his Facebook right now, um, uh, CowboyJoeBoo.com and CowboyJoeBoo Patreon. You can um, subscribe and um, pay to be one of his Patreon subscribers. That way you can see some exclusive stuff from him and um, be able to support him that way because he definitely needs it right now because um, he's really taking this hard. And, and I understand because you work so hard at trying to establish your YouTube channel and you put time and effort into this and years into this. And, you know, granted, <clears throat> I've had my channel since literally the Super Bowl of uh since since the Super Bowl last year well earlier this year obviously but um you know so I'm still kind of new but I'm still making my way on this YouTube thing and like I said it's not easy y'all it's, it's definitely um it takes time it takes effort it takes um a lot of times creativity because I tell you you know sometimes even when you're having a bad day it's hard to just click on a video and be like you know what I gotta have the strength today to make this video because my fans want to hear what I have to say, um, and the fans of the team want to hear what we want to talk about. You know what I mean? And like, like I said, I appreciate all you guys that enjoy my channel. Um, <clears throat> I can only get better from here. You know what I mean? I'm working on some things right now. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a live stream before uh, our my birthday slash housewarming party on Saturday. So look up to that. I will give you an exact time closer to that day it's closer to saturday but i have a lot to do between now and saturday um again shout out to mark holmes for making my house beautiful and helping since i had that leak i appreciate it bro um it's a lot of stuff that i got to do to put furniture back together and i still got to i finished the bench that i had in the backyard i showed y'all in one of my older videos but the problem now is I was like, you know what? I need to put a back on it. So I had to go out and get some more center blocks and had to get some more plywood. So I just finished painting those last night. So I'm gonna put that together when I get home um, this evening. I'll probably do another video to show you guys the finished, finished product. And also I'll show you the wedge bench 
the half circle bench that Mark said that it was his first time making that he was mad at me about, but it is what it is. Um, that that is that is complete because I'll show you guys that also too. I'm still deciding if I'm going to paint it a different color or just leave it the regular um, wood color. I'm still still debating on that. Um, <clears throat> now it's funny. I I, I you know I'll be reading these reports and I'll be just listening to different news from different networks and media outlets and stuff. Yo, it's a lot of hate for the Dallas Cowboys and obviously a lot of hate for Mark Holmes too because. I've I've seen negative comments about him, like he sucks and this and that. I'm like, okay, that's your opinion, whatever. But if you don't like Mark, if you don't like me, if you don't like any of our YouTubers that 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 we roll with, why why follow? Why even subscribe? Why even waste your damn time? Like, what, what do you not have a life? Because I'll be honest with you, I got more important things to do in life than be worried about somebody else and and sitting here trying to be a hypocrite and and bad mouthing and trashing anybody else's channel because the ones that talk the most crap are the ones that don't even have a damn channel don't have a channel they don't even have a name they don't have a face you don't they're just anonymous and i'm gonna tell you you anonymous people y'all y'all can roll out with that because i'm gonna tell you i i don't play that and and i'm serious like i don't i don't like i said on my channel i preach all positivity I preach just good stuff all around. And and if you ain't with it, you ain't with it. And those of you, and I know I'm preaching to the choir because a lot of you guys are great supporters. I appreciate y'all. But, some, you know, sometimes you just got to address the elephant in the room. And um, I don't normally waste time doing it, and I shouldn't now, but it is what it is. I just feel like, you know, it, it gets nerve-wracking sometimes when you just keep hearing the same stuff over and over again. I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right. Like, I get it. Like, let's grow up and let's let's be what we're here for football so with that being said back to that um this like i said this offensive line i'm not thinking that we're in dire emergency because it's not like travis is not coming back it's not like zach martin is going to be 100 percent. it's not like we lost the whole dag online so i'm gonna clarify a couple of things right now these media outlets are like, oh, the Cowboys should be so worried about this offensive line and not being um, their best and, and, and sucking and this and that. Okay, because we already know Tyron Smith has his issues. But he's a strong guy. And, he, and when he's in there, he does his damnness. Lyle Collins did have an injury in, in practice, but it was very minute. It, and, and it's funny because people blow things up. He had to wrap on his ankle because somebody kicked him in his ankle in practice. Y'all, it happens. It happens. He got kicked in the ankle. It's really not a big deal. They just want to be... <laughs> the Cowboys are being real careful with these offensive linemen right now because of what's going on with Travis Frederick and what happened with um, Zach Martin. So they're they're trying to um, eliminate or, or try to lessen any more damage because we don't need any more damage. Right now, it's not dire. Yes, it deserves attention, but it's not dire. We don't know when Travis Frederick gets back. I understand that. Like I said in my last video, I just did. Y'all give Joe Looney a chance because I'm telling you, I've been watching him. I've been paying attention to him. He's a jokester, and I am too, y'all. Like when I was on the football team, when I played football, like when I when I was at the linebacker position, when we weren't in the game or when we weren't in practice, man, I was joking. That's just what I do. I still do that all day, every day. I'm a funny guy. That's what I do. You guys don't see too much of it because a lot of times I have to be serious when I'm talking about certain topics. But um, as you guys keep following me and learning more about me, you will see more about me that I am a fun loving, positive, full of energy, humble guy. That's just me. That's just me. And, 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 you know, that's why I keep people like Mark and, 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 um, um, and, and John G around me because these guys are positive. These guys are doing what they do and they're stand up dudes and they're great husbands to their wives. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, you got to keep positive around you if you're trying to be positive, because I'm going to tell you one thing, if you're in any situation and you're trying to grow, you can't grow with negativity. You can't grow with people holding you back. So those of you that um, 
are religious, you understand that they always say that you're always supposed to have people around you that are equally yoked or people that are even better than you to make you a better person. And that's what you should do all the time. And that and that and that's that, that's what it is. But sorry to ramble about that. But, you know, when something else is on my heart, y'all, I got to speak on it. That's just the way I am. Um, but again, this offensive line, I lo I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, OK, I believe that Joe Looney is going to get the job done. Because yes, he is a jokester, but when it when he's playing, oh, he ain't playing. Like I've seen him pancake some people. I've seen him put some people down. I've seen him punch and get these defensive linemen just just a halt. You know what I mean? So again, I, like I said in the, in the earlier video, he is not Travis Frederick, and I'm not saying that at all. But it's not a tremendous drop off to the point we should be like, oh my god, oh my god, what are we gonna do? Oh my god, no. It's, I don't think that it's to that point. I, 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 I'm telling you right now, it's not to that point. Lyle Collins is going to be okay. They, they going. Um, he probably going to ice that knee. You know what I'm saying? Put some, put some cream on it or something. He'll be back. He'll be good. Um, I heard somebody say mention. I, I don't remember who it was because there were so many comments. Um, that they wanted to see Dak roll with Joe Looney. Dak's going to have plenty of time to work with Joe Looney before. Um, before the uh, preseason he's doing it in practice right now to be honest with you so um that's the part that you don't see he is working with him right now now he may not do, do it in the game because they especially if we're playing the 49ers because uh not the 49ers if we're playing uh, arizona because arizona has a, <laughs> a pretty good defensive line and you don't want those guys rushing at Dak and hurting Dak before the season starts so you you did you don't want to gamble on this so they're being careful which i agree with they should so um you look at the whole body of work you got tyron smith we know that he has issues right now with his um you know with his back he once you have back issues you're always going to have those problems even when you have surgery he's doing much better now but you know with the rigors of the season they're actually going to give him a lot of rest days that's why he hasn't been playing much um Connor Williams, I believe that once he gets a game or two under his belt, he is going to um, feel more comfortable, and he's literally going to get in there and do what he needs to do and start having more confidence in himself. Because it's all about confidence, y'all. It, it really is. Because he's, once these players lose confidence, it takes some 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 effort to get that back. If you know what I mean. Um, we know that Travis Frederick is dealing with his. Um, with his um, illness, his disease that he has with the syndrome, um, the autoimmune syndrome. Um, he, the good thing is he's at practice. He's standing around. He's laughing with his teammates and he's supporting his team. Most of the time when somebody has stuff like that, they can barely walk. And the fact that he's moving around and he's at the facility and uh, Jerry Jones says that he's confident he'll play day one. Even Travis Frederick himself said that he's confident that he could play day one. I'm not going to say that because, again, I'm not a doctor. Whatever the doctor says is what's going to happen at the end of the day. But if he's optimistic, I can't help but to be optimistic because the player knows his body and he knows what he feels more than anybody else because it's his body. Just like you can't tell nobody how they feel because they can only tell you how they feel because it's them, not you. So that only makes sense. Uh, but I love the fact that the, his teammates have come to his rescue. They are pouring the support onto him and showing him, hey, man, we're teammates. We're here with you through this, bro. Whatever you need, we're here. I love that. And that's how it should be. You look at... Um, You look at you look at Collins, like I said, with that ankle, just rest that a little bit. He'll be fine to go back. Just tell these <laughs> defensive guys, stop kicking your ankle and <laughs> stop being so rough with you in practice right now. But, you know, but these guys are big guys and they're strong. So these other guys are trying to get spots. So they're trying to show and prove. So I get it. Um, we do have to find some capable backups. Joe Looney is one which he, he will be a starter until Travis Frederick gets get gets everything gets everything right. And also we're going to have um uh hey, I keep forgetting this. Oh, Cam Fleming. Cam Fleming is going to be most likely the swing tackle. So we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens with that. I I think that um 
I think that Cam Fleming is going to be really good because he has been a starter. He started in the Super Bowl with the Patriots. So, I mean, you look at that and you're like, okay, we we definitely can make this work. Now, I think that they do need to get another guy because I don't think Kadeem Edwards is the answer, even though he has shown a little bit in training camp, but not enough for me. I feel like, again, you look at what we have with Joe Looney. I know a lot of you, some of you guys said that you don't want Joe Looney. And, I, and somebody joked about his last name. Like, I don't trust a guy named Looney. That's funny. That, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. And uh, Big Papa was like, BB. <laughs> Looney Tunes all day. You guys are hilarious, I tell you. But I will say that you look at what's on the street right now, they're not better than Joe Looney. So you're not about to go out in the street right now and get somebody right now. You're not doing that. So, at the end of the day, you look at it like this. Stick with what you got. Wait till some teams cut some players because once that 53-man roster gets cut down, there are going to be some people on the street that you can that you can scoop up. Um, we still need to do something about safety um, because I definitely don't think that they're going into the season with things right now. And uh, somebody had mentioned to me, um, what's the holdup with Earl Thomas? And I'll tell you this, Seattle is his holdup. The Dallas Cowboys have nothing to do with Earl Thomas right now. He is under contract with Seattle. Um, Cowboys have put their bid out there. And I think that they're still talking in the background. But at the same time, nothing is going to happen unless Seattle is willing to give him up. And apparently right now, it seems like they want him to suffer. And they're not giving him what he wishes for. And because teams just, they, they'll just do you like that. They'll make you suffer. So that that's 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 the issue with that. So I'm I'm gonna stay motivated about this offensive line. I think that it it'll, it'll come together more closer to the season. We'll see what happens this Sunday um, in the preseason game. Who they start. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing more videos um, on my live stream. We're probably gonna be talking about um, not only preseason game predictions, but predictions for the season to see um, how many games we'll win this year. Kind of break down each different game of the season and see see what we could come up with. So uh, it'd be a fun little thing to do. So um, just to get different perspectives from my guys. So with that being said, y'all, like, share, comment. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great evening.